Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect WhatsApp to Go High Level in 2024. So today we're exploring how to seamlessly integrate two powerful platforms, WhatsApp and Go High Level. By connecting these two platforms, you can enhance your communication capabilities, reach your audience where they are and engage with them effectively. So in this tutorial, for 2024 will guide you through the process of connecting those two platforms together so make sure to stick by and let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll need to go and open a browser here i'm using brave for you you can use whatever you want so once you open your browser go to the url section make sure to go to go high level level as an example.com hit the enter button and if you have an account just click here on login to log in into your account as an example and if you don't have an account as you can see you can log in using even google if you don't want to do all the bonus steps and if you don't have an account click on start your free trial and make sure to fill up your information as an example and click on go to next step and simply fin finish up and create your account once you do so i would like you of course to have a whatsapp account so you can simply just type whatsapp.com or i don't think okay so there's whatsapp.com so if you want to download this on your pc that's cool if you want to use this on the web simply click on whatsapp web here and make sure to connect into a whatsapp account as simple as that so as you can see you'll have to go to your whatsapp on your phone click on menu on android or settings on iphone then tap on link device then click on link and device and point your phone at the screen to capture the qr code once you do so this whatsapp will be connected to your account right away same if you download it so to connect them both whatsapp with go high level of course you can do it manually simply you can uh, of course obtain your api key and of course for like whatsapp business api will require a third up party like service like twilo to integrate it with go high level you can sign up for twilo as an example or twilio so it's going to be this one dot com so here make sure of course to go and create an account for that so you can have so you can integrate it with go high level and of course you can sign up to a twilo account if you don't have one already and obtain obtain your twilo api key and even phone number that you will use for a whatsapp messaging because you will not be able to use your personal number and if you want to as i said connect this manually in your go high level dashboard navigate into settings or integration sections and look for the option connect or integrate with whatsapp and click on it to begin the integ integration process normally within whatsapp integration settings in go high level you will have to enter your twilo api key and you'll get that again from the settings and of course then you'll be able to configure the whatsapp automation on go high level and test and deploy automation but for me i'm not going to do or to use the manual way here in this video i'll use an app called zapier which will help me connect two things together of course, I can connect more if I have plans. So if it's your first time normally using Zapier, you'll find yourself on this screen. So click on login at the top right corner to log in into an account. If you have an account by any chance, if you don't, click on sign up instead, and you'll be able to create an account as you can see very easily or log in into a new one. You can use Google, Facebook, Microsoft for logging in and Google for creating an account if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of filling up your information manually. For me, once you're logged in into your account or you just created your account, you'll find yourself here. So the first thing that you should do is simply go to this list panel, click on apps. As we said, to connect Go High Level to WhatsApp, we will need Twilo. So I'll just look here or Twilio. So I'll just go here and type Twilio as an example. As you can see, it's in here. If you want to connect it to WhatsApp automatically, there's an option to connect this as you can see. But there's just this WhatsApp connections or notifications. So if you go and click on it, as you can see, uh, you'll have to simply enter your phone number here. So enter your WhatsApp phone number here. And this format, of course, plus the country code, followed by phone number without any spaces or dashes. Then, of course, click on send pin, enter the pin that they sent you. And if they didn't send you, of course, a code, you can click on this link to prefill the message on WhatsApp to and uh, start again. So basically, you'll be able to connect this right away to WhatsApp if you want to. But as I said, this is going to be normally uh, personally use uh, WhatsApp. So make sure to use Swilo for that. It's going to be much better. But if you want to use, use WhatsApp, it's up to you. 
and of course you'll have to connect your uh, go high level go high level as you can see if we go here to look for go high level we'll not find anything so we'll use lead connector for that it's like go high level uh it's the go high level of course on yeah it's this one it's of course here and go high level on this uh, Zapier. So as you can see, you'll have to get your API key, your API key on go high level, where you will find it. Basically, just click on this link. They'll take you right away to your go high level account for me because I'm not logged in. So they'll take me to log into my account. But for you, you will not have this option. They'll take you where you should uh, be. Copy the API key that you find there. If you don't, you'll have to create a new one. You'll have a button for that. Click on it and enter that API key here. Click on yes, continue to delete connector, which is going to be go high level. As you do so, it's time to create the automation or the connection that you want to automate between the two. So an example, if I go here to this left panel, click on create, and I go and create a zap as an example. And of course, I'll just go and click on create zap. So here, I can use this AI tool as an example. If I want, if I don't, if I don't know nothing about this uh, zap here, if I don't know nothing about triggers and actions, etc., I can simply just uh, type here, like connect, connect like lead connector to WhatsApp as an example. So I'll just type that and see what he's gonna do. I'll hit the enter button. As you can see, this AI will help you build zaps from start to finish, suggestions zap some uh, zap outline, add in replacing steps, automatically choose an account. So basically you'll be able to chat with him with it like any other chat that you know. As you can see, as you can see if you like the trigger and the action that he had for you, you can simply click on add button. As you can see, for the trigger, I'm not looking for this one, so I'll just go and click on the trigger, look for the app, which is Lead Connector, and simply, here's it, I'll choose that. Now, what I will have to do here is simply go and choose the events that should trigger Lead Connector, which is going to be Go High Level. As an example, I have just this one here, and I'll have to sign into my account and test the trigger if it's working, and the same will be for WhatsApp. I'll have to sign into my account and test the action if it's working, if everything is working, you will find here a checkup uh, option instead of this triangle and then click on publish and it will be connected without any problems. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.